Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an X doing Marvel's What If Episode 3 and man does it look like it's gonna be a fun one. I have not yet checked out the trailer they released for this. I might watch it after to see how well they did. But uh, I kind of did read the little description title on Disney, so I, I was spoiled a little bit on what's going to happen. But usually I like to go into these really, really fresh, especially what if stories, because you already kind of know what happens in the original what if. And as we've seen in between episode one and two, some what ifs remain relatively similar, whereas others can diverge quite dramatically from the main plot line. And it's really awesome to kind of see this stuff. I'm super excited for it. It definitely looks like Marvel still has that big plan in mind with all their TV shows leading into the next movies, leading into the next movie, leading, right? Like they're doing a great job. So I'm excited for everything that's coming out this year and next year. It's gonna be a blast and they've already done a pretty good job on the stuff that's come out this year uh, and a really good job on some of it. So, you know, if that's any indication of what we have to expect, then we can be excited. As always, remember to support the original content creators because without, you know, Marvel getting our money, they're not gonna make anything. That's just how, uh, that's just how it works, right? That's what we gotta do to get more stuff is pay more stuff. So try not to bootleg things. Go watch the original on Disney Plus before you come and watch with me. Maybe, you know, tell a friend, buy a comic, try to buy a comic. And, you know, have a great time. If you enjoy it, you know, do that. And if not, then no need to watch, right? So we're going to go ahead and get into episode three. What if the world lost its mightiest heroes? I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If you want to ask me any questions about this stuff, as always, you can catch me in the comments. Or more easily, you can catch us on the Discord where it gives me better notifications that you guys have talked. So, yeah, let's get into it. The center of my universe. I got Ooh. it. Hit him. God. God. What'd you just do to me? What did we just do? For you. That's lithium dioxide. It's gonna take the edge off. It's not a cure. It just abates the symptoms. Stark, you okay? Stark. Tony! Tony! Damn! He's dead. They gotta give music for this too. Did it did it so willing to face the impossible. Only because people don't expect it. Jeez, they got her doing like Wing Chun or something. Damn. What? Stop! Stop the truck! Puento Antiguo? Can I can't even say that one. Puente. And not from here. Oh, it didn't land in the same place. See, I like this version a little better where he's like sneaking around and beating people up. It's a little more realistic. For the best, prepare for the worst. The visual on the intruder? He's a Caucasian male, mid twenties with Damn, they got him being a badass. Really great hair. <laughs> Excuse me? Sorry, he's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. That is close tonight thing. And that is uh Samuel Jackson. One shot, one kill, sir. To say the word. I actually think that is also uh Jeremy Renner. Oh no. Damn! I thought Hawkeye was gonna kill him, but. Wait. It looked like he did there, but it might have been Taskmaster or someone. Let's see. That's rough. samples are to be believed he's almost a thousand years old and not of this world wake up sleeping beauty Bart he's dead Bart Coulson get a medic how could this who did you let in here well, no one stay with me stay with me damn that was quick I wasn't expecting that one see if it might have been a cyanide capsule there was an uh oh, banner next. See, they got the blood pulled under him. That's those attention to detail are nice, honestly. In these series, it, it makes a difference. Not sure if you remember me, but oh, I remember using this. It's 
So, why did you come to me? You're I'd love to see how they kill a, the Hulk. Applications of cellular biology. I, I'm sorry, but I can't let you in there. Move, Do you think? Or I'll make you move. No need for violence, Agent. Hey, they got him. That's probably not gonna work out for anyone. Oh no! Is it just Ross? There he is in the back watching. I love too how I put my hands over my headphones to block this. <laughs> oh no, not Colson! Don't you dare. Either the four, Loki, or Colson, unless it's Odin, but I doubt it. Although. Oh, they came with the army. Loki is not happy someone killed Thor. Unless he killed Thor. But I don't think he would have done it like that. But maybe. I mean, it kind of does say Loki a little. And he would want to kneecap S.H.I.E.L.D. to take over. It's safer for everyone if I fend for myself. I sort of can't die. Then I guess you're in luck. That's what I'm wondering. Is how are they going to kill the Hulk? They got to, like, take his powers away, basically, to kill him. Of course, MCU Hulk's different from Comic Hulk, who is even more unkillable than he used to be. I knew Loki was coming at some point. Your life. <sighs> Let's see the Hulk. All right, not too bad right now. This is interesting. It's different from the other ones. It feels like the animation is slightly different, almost more three D. Jeez, he's just no problem. The funny thing, he didn't even need that. He could just send the destroyer in and not have a problem. Oh, dang, girl. Oh, he's overgrowing. They made his mutation go harder. He's going to explode. Still not 100% sure that would kill the Hulk. And there's legit at this point in time really no one who could stand up to Loki and the and the Asgardians on Earth with Iron Man and Hulk dead. And even then that those would have been maybes, right? Like Wait, where's Cap then? Did, did he just never get pulled out of the ice? He's the only one we really haven't seen. Here they are after her. But it's not going to be quite so easy to sneak up on and assassinate her. And that's the difference in characters, right? That's why situations always matter. If you were to ask, like, versus, right, straight up, Black Widow would be low on the list. But if you were to ask who's not going to get assassinated, pretty high on the list. Oh, how did a woman who died two years ago access the database yesterday? Oh no, she is gonna die. She should have known though. You won't win. Not against me, not against Shield. Who the hell? Ant Man? Or the Wasp, I'm guessing, but. Yep. I figured when they were talking the nanotech to, uh, for the bullet and a bunch of other stuff, but that one pretty much seals the fact that it's probably the Wasp or Ant Man. I wonder, though, how it ended up so much sooner. I can't wait to see how it gets all pushed. I was waiting for the gap reveal. It lets, oh, Marvel. Damn, they're really going to pull her in. From the 90s? <sighs> they're really going on. Either make a pact with a god or deal with the devil. Who are we going to see now? Because he put away the Marvel responder, which he had ready just in case to go beat up Loki. And there he is again. I love them putting him in there. Hope Van Dyne, yeah. Daughter, agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. That would explain it. If it isn't 
take to the balls you have to come here and stand over her grave. Clint Barton, Bruce Banner, Natasha Romanoff? You took everything from me. This was an interesting one, yeah. Like, once again, it it's all makes sense. You to hurt. To witness everything you ever... It was him shooting. Okay, I thought it was another shooter. Yeah, that still wouldn't have killed the Hulk. He would have literally grown. Because <laughs> again, the element of surprise is a huge part of that. And he is Samuel L. Jackson. Nah, it's probably Loki. Yeah. yeah. It is Loki. Good. Now take your hammer and get off my planet. About that. About that. We should be allies. You know, I just had an idea. I was thinking I might extend my stay here on Midgard. For how long? <laughs> then Loki ruler of the planet. No, is he just gonna I have no idea. No, really, he's just gonna come in and be a, a power. Put aside their differences. And united under my command. If the unspoken truth of humanity that you crave subjugation, I was wondering if he'd leave. You, diminishes your life's joy. You were made to be ruled. President Loki. I have come. The Avengers fell before they had a chance to rise. May they rest in peace. They can, but we won't. The Avengers were always meant to be more than a team. They were an idea. Mm -hmm. The affirmation of humanity's need to believe that in our darkest hour we will find our heroes. I believe that in this universe, as in every other, hope never dies. Yep, Cap. As long as someone keeps their good eye on the bigger picture. Welcome back, Captain. So, where's the fight? There we go. Marvel can handle it. She can handle it. Well, I don't know. He's got an Infinity Stone and the Destroyer Armor. That's a big, big wallop he packs. Infinity Stones are not to be trifled with. Especially, I think, he, that the casket has the Reality Stone, which is easily one of the stronger Infinity Stones. Uh, I mean, they've all got their own uses, etc. But, yeah, that was really cool, guys. Man, I... I kind of I should have said it earlier but when they did the kind of nano tip of the syringe thing I was thinking Ant-Man or I was thinking maybe thing but they did a good job I think with the whole hope thing and he is a character Hank Pym that is definitely ripe for going crazy they just really do him dirty a little bit in the comics too after they had this whole thing where he accidentally was depicted as being a uh, abusive uh, spouse and ever since then, Ant-Man has kind of gotten the short end of the shaft. And once again, I say accidentally, not in the sense of like the story portrays it, but in the sense that, that it was not written that way by the writer. And then the illustrator took a bit of a freedom in, in the description and kind of like uh, set it all off. But it's made for really good and uh, relative stories, right? Like those stories are still stories that need to be told. In any case, man, I'm really enjoying these. I really think this one is a good mix of, like, similarities and differences where one, you know, obviously it's similar to the original recruitment. And we we also get a really good look into kind of some of the background stuff moving into scenes, right? Like, it's cool to see Samuel Jackson talking before he goes to see... Sorry. Before he goes to see Iron Man, right, at the donut shop, things like that, or talking with Coulson about the hammer, all those things really went well. I think the episode, like I said, is a little bit spoiled by the the, the description. I'm going to try not to read those anymore, and 
I try to get these early in the morning so I don't get any spoilers for many channels, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, but that's going to be the future for now. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Tell me what you thought about the what if scenario. Was this one a little too crazy, not crazy enough? Did it make sense to you? Did it feel right? And how did you feel about getting some of the actors back in for their voice roles? Uh, and then, you know, I obviously don't actually know all the actors. I just kind of go by ear. And if I feel like they are, then I say it. But I'm wrong a lot, too. So let me know where I was wrong. And who did voice their character and who didn't voice their character would be a great thing to find. I guess I could just go look through the credits, too. Maybe I'll just do that. In any case, guys, I hope you really enjoyed watching. As always, remember to support the original content creators. Because if we don't support Marvel, we don't get more of these series and movies and all that great stuff. In addition, if you enjoyed liking you know with us watching liking watching hypnotism okay but if you enjoyed you know watching with us feel free to hit the like button comment tell us what we could do better next time what you enjoyed what your thoughts are you know on the episode in general and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button we try to release videos uh pretty frequently both uh, reactions and trailers and all kinds of other things you can check out there and if you wanted to see this uncut little bit of early access because i do put these out on youtube the same day for the youtube cuts but if you want to see it uncut full audio none of the bullshit i have to put on to get away from the youtube filters check out our patreon in the link below come chat with us in our discord and have a great day guys it's been a blast i'm axel grave and this has been reactions with an x marvel's what if later